for Todd Horwitz live on the floor at the CME Group in Chicago. Todd, before we get to the numbers and the futures trade here and, can, and livestock, I was talking to our friends at Superior Livestock uh, just a little, half an hour ago, and just, there was a lot of, uh, I'll say, disappointment, uh, uh, frustration, maybe is a better word, in this, this beef complex, uh, and a lot of it targeted to the CME. But, you know, I, I can understand, you know, with, with the new switch to electronic trading, the lack of open outcry, it has changed the game a little bit, and you're getting a little bit more speculation. I can understand the frustration. However, that's where if, if they're starting to look to actually hedge positions, this, this nonsense that they're, they're that are troubling right now, they won't have to worry about it anymore. It'll be meaningless. But I can understand the switch over from open outcry to electronic. It is a little bit of an adjustment, and I think that'll be, they'll be fine once they figure it out. Very good. And But you're not friendly, even when we're lower levels that we are now, you still think the livestock trade has room to move lower from here? I think I think significantly lower would be more of the word yes. I think that, you know, we, we, we've seen new contract lows. We see a backwardation formation, which means that the prices are going down as you go out into time. Mm -hmm. So for all those reasons, that is telling me that there's going to be supply. If there's not supply today, there's going to be plenty because prices are coming down. Now, if I weigh that in the balance with the overall economy, knowing what I can see, that the dollar is higher, that the people aren't working, all these things, who's going to buy the product? So again, when we look at the overall mix, it's telling us we're going lower. Now, again, I wouldn't be surprised to a bounce here in a day or so. We can only go so low and then you'll see some sort of pop i would say i would think that now 133 to 135 on the on the live cattle would be an upper end range here that we'd look to be a seller and probably 168 to 170 in feeders now again they're going to continue to work their way down until they don't but right now they're at extremely high prices going and still coming lower and that figures to continue because again if you weigh in a what the technicals look like and b the economy that would lead to lower prices in my yeah, mind and, and they're talking about an, even a small small increase in the interest rates here and the fed in december i wouldn't think that would add very much uh, positive news as, as well that would be brutal for everybody because that, that would that would even make the dollar stronger yeah. because the fed de facto has been raising rates because of what the other central banks have been doing which is part of the desperation deflation we're seeing right now very good well real quick in the pork trade before I let you go here and what you see through the uh, last session here uh, in the pork complex uh, two dollars uh, higher in december you know what i'm friendly they were much higher earlier to me they've got to get over 56 57 to want to be an active buyer they've kind of that was kind of the key level they broke down and really they made new contract lows as well so i'd like that now if i had to pick one to buy i certainly would buy this because i think there's a greater chance that they go higher from here but i think you will you want to see over 57 before you commit to a long-term position here very good todd we're going to give the numbers one last time thank you for your time today you. we look forward to our next visit